you know give this video a thumbs up as the title suggests i know you know it by now i lived in the ghetto in kenya for all my life this is a must watch this is what this is the kenya you don't see on tv i'm gonna take you along my day how it usually or mostly is as you can know um a kenyan youtuber african youtuber a youtuber from the continent so support a sister a queen by subscribing and watching my videos all things kenyan you'll see like i do like almost everything this is the stuff my content is the stuff that you don't see on your usual tv so you may want to subscribe channel link to part two is below subscribe like and let's hi guys good morning today is monday 2nd august and i'm definitely have worn my dresses i've definitely lose weight look Come back, we went out at night and day. We enjoyed our life. I remember in your car, because on top we were tired. Baby, you're my lullaby, you're my daylight. I miss you. We are ready to go to town. <laughs> this is a matatu we bought to. <clears throat> Guys, my phone can be stolen anytime. So those are the matatus that we bought. It's a matatus are a form of public transportation. Yeah. Guys, as I'm waiting for my sister, I'm gonna go to a pharmacy. To buy some drugs for some period guns. That's where I'm going by the way. So, so guys, I've got my drugs, my period drugs. The reason why I don't trust the drugs from my home is because there are a lot of like fake products where I live in my neighborhood so that's why I have to come here and here it's cheaper <laughs> so I'm still waiting I'm still waiting for my sister this is my like you guys don't have eight sisters so this is the sister I like follow <laughs> you'll see her if she allows to be on the camera Oh, so guys, I forgot to tell you, I'm in Nairobi, like this is the city center of Nairobi. On the, on the upper side. Yeah. Guys, I forgot to tell you, I'm vlogging with my phone camera on the selfie mode. So if guys you see like a different or if it's still the same, let me know down below. This is just to show you that you can vlog with any camera that you have my phone is a sony xperia ultra 2 yeah so tell me if the quality is still good i like it because it's like wide angle audion guys audion if i never you know audion is the main stage so hi guys i'm with my sister i follow her <laughs> she's called ruth <laughs> And I'm going to see just to eat some lunch, yeah, and talk and catch up. I'm gonna take this one again. Good. The order, but not the food, like it's the other drink. Nice curia. <laughs> so these are all the salads that are here. <laughs> they like totally drunk as him and end up on the tambo. We don't need one. I cannot. Ah, eh, una zanza. Na zanza. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> so 
salad seed and then we'll catch up later. This is how you put the fajitas, yes, fajitas together and then you eat. What's your, what's your smoothie? <laughs> Shock because smoothie. Can you taste it? It's nice. Size 40 bus, yama. Then when 40, 41, 40. So guys, I'm trying out shoes. These are second hand shoes, designer shoes. <laughs> they have Nike, Air Force. This one, aki in a poor cocktail. No, I can have Vlana. So now I'm still not going to lose any focus. Nipi me yo. Number four. Number four and it's small quango. The spot house. Spot house. My sister makes the best biryani, homemade biryani. This one she made for us. If you want to order, if you're ever in Kenya or if you're in Kenya, order. Make an order at cute underscore Andrea mm, her Instagram page. Eid Mubarak. So it's good to know Nini, Nana, Merasuji. Thank you. Yes, thank you for the eat. Thank you, we may feed us and ten. Biryani, <laughs> biryani. This was a total surprise. Ukwajo, my favorite. Naviazi. Today is cheat meal. Mmm, thank you. Karibu chule, maragwe, chale. Nakula dinner, chale, japika. 
Ni wakula marako eh. Cabbage na mchele. Mpunga. Mwana tijang sawa. If you haven't subscribed but you want to be part of the K-Tribe community, subscribe down below. It's free and it's late and after you subscribe. Turn on the bell notification so that you can be notified every time I post this kind of videos. So, so as you can see like, I want to tell you like my experience uh, living in Kenya. As you know, as in every continent or in every country, there are like three types of citizens. There are the super rich, super rich and wealthy, the affluent, affluent affluent sorry guys english is my second language it's not my first language there's the second there's uh, the affluence and then there's the middle class and then there's poor and then there's like poor poor poorest okay so i want to consider myself like i live in the almost not middle class but just not uh, middle class and not uh poor class lower class so i live in between that i don't know how I'll, I'll i like to refer myself as uh because i don't lack food and i don't like like the basic necessities that is i have a roof on top of my head i have food like uh, i eat three times a day and i afford sanitary parts <laughs> just kidding so um yeah so there's this movement i've had this this move uh, okay I'm, i've seen i also have like recently from last year i have like friends from the diaspora i have like black american friends african-american friends and there's this uh, movement of pan-africanism like coming back to the motherland which is africa so guys i want to tell you like me as from the homeland i've been i've been born born and raised here in kenya and i know a whole lot of things like i know my home so i want to be like a, your vessel for you to transition from from abroad to the motherland so i have helped a few of my friends and I continue helping people with the knowledge that I have as you can see from my videos I have over like 662 videos from lifestyle um, from lifestyle travel and everything Africa you can get to see like how the motherland is I know mostly on the TV they show you that in Africa we live especially in Kenya that we live in huts, in mud houses, and uh, we usually spot like clown. Yeah, of course, we live in Nairobi City, which has a national park, which is the only capital city in the whole world that has a Nairobi National Park, which is so cool, by the way. But we do not live in huts. We have Wi-Fi, we have like, we have at least modernized. Yeah, so there are these, uh, people always ask me, is it safe to live in Nairobi? Especially me, I live in Nairobi, the capital city of Kenya, just in the outskirts of the city. Like from where I live, in the neighborhood I live to the city, it only takes like 30 minutes and 40 minutes if you're in traffic or one hour but when you that's when you use a public transportation but when you use your car personal car you can take you only 20 minutes to the city so many people have gotten this question on my other video about cost of living in Nairobi Kenya that video went viral yes it's viral in my channel if a video get 50,000 views that's viral so many people ask me like uh which areas are safe for uh, for pan-africanism to come back to resettle in i can definitely say like like it's really good you'll save your money a lot if you live in the local neighborhoods like especially where i live 
I'll show you like an image of like my neighborhood of course obviously I won't disclose like exact house building for privacy issues but if it, if it was not for the stalkers of course I'll show you even the house number but we are not gonna do that we need to be safe so in my neighborhood as I've told you it's middle class so we have like basic like uh, water we have like water running water um it's basically not that it's it's not bougie it's livable i live there okay so it's livable and i really love my neighborhood i like it and you can have the malls around there's um <coughs> there's uh fun activities to do there's hospital especially like where i live right now it's the hospital is like only five minutes five minutes away five minutes away on walking distance so you have noticed that i use mainly the public transportation because many kenyans who are like me we cannot afford a car even a small toyota car it's a it's a luxury like things like cars is a luxury things like going to the mall is also a luxury eating out in a restaurant is a luxury that many of us don't occasionally afford you only go to the restaurant when we are celebrating maybe something major but it's rare most of the kenyans we cook our meals we usually cook we don't eat out a lot um i know this video is a ramble i'm really sorry <laughs> i'm really sorry if it's a ramble video please excuse me but i want to say like um for for me i will recommend if you're if you like really like a really comfortable life you can like the you can like relocate in this neighborhood this neighborhood Karen, Runda, Kitsuri, Karen, Runda, Kitsuri, they are, at, they are on the high end. That's where the rich and the affluent live. Mudaiga, yes, Karen, Mudaiga. Those are where the they most live. But, um, yeah. I hope like if you like this kind of videos please don't forget to subscribe comment down below if you have any question about the mother land I'll answer to you uh, yeah also I have like many people loved my video about moving to the rural areas the farm la farm the farm up country I don't know how they you guys say up country but here we say the rural areas this is like the more not a developed world i'll leave a video here so guys i don't know if this video really makes sense but i feel like i should just sit down and talk to you because i know i have new subscribers we just turned 20,000 subscribers recently and I want you guys to let me know like which type of videos you would like to see in the in our homeland and I hope you enjoyed uh, today's video yeah until next time subscribe here watch the best video related to you here that I know YouTube has recommended to you and my playlist here of Nairobi until next time, bye.